We've got some events for King Arthur in this beta early access, no wipe, and I really like the event. I think there's a lot of people hating on the event right now, and I wanna break it all down for you so you can see how good this really is for us. We've got the regular event just to give us rewards. Now, whatever it takes to get these rewards, remember, all these rewards are free. I do think that if we cannot get Cecil, because we'd have to summon for her, then we're missing out on these five summons. That's okay, as long as we get those three summons at the bottom. Now we can't see what day two, day three, day four, all these days hold for us before we had to complete everything. As long as we have like 20 things to accomplish and we can still get those three summons, without having to get Cecil, then we're okay with this event. Regardless, it's free guys. Everything here is free for us. And if they start doing rolling events where we have events going all the time, which I doubt they're gonna do that right now on this early access, they'll definitely do this when global launch happens. And when I say they'll do this when global launch happens, I'm talking about 15 years of me playing turn-based gacha games. Doesn't mean I'm right. Doesn't mean I'm wrong either because there is a pattern with all these companies. They always do things like this. Just like the summon event that they have with this, of course, they're gonna sell crystals for us for those summoning events. Not necessarily right now, but you know damn sure at global launch with all those people playing, the marketing team's gonna say, okay, now is the time to come out with some crystal deals that are far better than the normal deals we have to incentivize people to buy and to roll on this event. So I know they're gonna have cool stuff like that happen Every game does that. And this is really good that we're having this right now. Like I said, this is free. Everything's free. If they come out with these and we have these in a consistent manner, then this is all free great things, which I can't, I'm really sad that I can't see the rest. Guys, if you're at the company and you're seeing this, if you could unlock these so we can at least prepare and know what's gonna happen, I'd be really happy about that. It'd be cool for us to be able to see in all the players when these events come out to see what we have to look forward to. Like what do we need to plan for to do for this so we can kind of chart out our next five days. So this is great. They're introducing a new hero into the game. She's only a rare hero and I don't even think she's anything to chase after. And I can tell you, just like I said from all the other games I played, they'll put her into the normal summon pool after this event. I don't know how soon after this event, but they all do that. They all put them in to the special summons. So while she's not in the special summons right now, I can guarantee you she'll eventually be in there. Now we have to talk about the heated topic of this banner. I see everyone on Discord saying bad things about this banner. I think it's amazing. I'm gonna break it all down for you and tell you why I think it's amazing. If you're free to play, you don't wanna summon here. If you're free to play, you probably never want to summon here unless you're just saving up and saving up and you know that there's one legendary that you just have to have and you know that the banner's coming sometime in the future and you save up 16,000 crystals to get this guaranteed, it's Claudus right now. 80 summons is 16,000 crystals because these summons, take more. It's 200 crystals per summons here, so we can't use our special summons for this, unfortunately. I know that kind of sucks, but look, when a game gives you the selection of actually getting one specific legendary, it's not gonna be easy to do. It's not gonna be cheap to do, but you can still do it, it's free to play. But I'm gonna advise you not to ever worry about these banners if you're free to play. We're talking about to get the guaranteed, it's gonna take 16,000 crystals. And I broke down on a chart up here, 16,000 crystals. If you just go over to the shop and you buy the two for one deal, right over here, you spend 140 crystals for two summons every single day. That's gonna net you for 16,000 that you would have spent on those summons. That's gonna give you 228 summons. And if you break that down into 80 for the pity, you're gonna get close to, you're gonna get 2.85 to get a guaranteed legendary. So almost three guaranteed legendaries. Instead of rolling on this, instead of spending the 16,000 crystals that you saved up, you are far better every day just going into the shop and getting that two for one deal and just rolling on the special summons and getting almost three guaranteed legendaries along with legendary relics, you'll get all the rares and you'll get rare relics as well. You'll get way better return on what you're doing and you'll have way more legendaries. I mean, you'll have way more relic legendaries as well to switch over to those other weapons. So this banner is for people who are just missing that character. Like they're missing that one. And this is really good for whales. This is really good for the game, the longevity of the game. 
I've always wanted this in something like Summoner's War, but they never would do it. When they're rolling like this, like Epic Seven does, when they're rolling to where every month we know we're gonna get something like this or every few weeks, however they start doing it, then you can plan ahead. And this is th this is great. I think this is fantastic. Those spenders, those low spenders even who save up. And again, those deals will come. They'll have those amazing deals. Well, I wouldn't say amazing deals. They're going to be expensive. It's going to be expensive, guys. You get that selected legendary. They're going to have deals that are better than what we see in the shop right now. I bet you once global release comes, they're going to have better deals than what we see here. They're going to have those pop-up deals for the weekends of these that are far better than what we see there and they're still going to be expensive you have the option to save up if you want to or you can spend that 140 crystals every single day and get those two for one summons which is what i would do but if you do want to save up it's only going to take you 114 days of saving up 140 crystals that will be 3.8 months to be able to get this guaranteed or you're way better off doing the 228 summons that will give you almost three guaranteed legendaries with all those other goodies. So keep that in mind. This is really good for the game. I love these kind of banners. I hope they keep them on a regular schedule. I really want to see Merlin up here because I don't have Merlin. See, this is good. This is good for people because you feel great about spending money when you know you're going to get a return on it, when you know the exact return on it. I calculate it all out. I know my disposable income. I feel good about this because I know when I spend that money, I'm going to get what I'm going after. I'm going to get that Claudius and I'm going to pick up some other things along the way. So this is great to have in the game. I'm sorry if a lot of you don't like that, but I'm going to disagree with you on this one. I love these kind of things, but I do want to do my summons because if I can't use these summons in those events, then let's knock these out. Maybe I'll get Merlin right now, but I do want to know your thoughts, everyone. Please let me know your thoughts down below. Come on, legendary weapon even. Okay, no, no there. Let's unlock this. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know your thoughts on all of this. I think it's a fantastic thing. I've played games like this before, specifically Epic 7 to where they've had these banners, and I absolutely loved it. Come on, Lego. There we go. Oh, man. Not her again. Okay, one fragment. That was it. We got two more to go. That was legendary, though. We hit legendary way before the pity, so happy about that. I want to see some more legendary weapons. I do want to unlock some weapons for heroes legendary heroes primarily because I've got a lot of the rare ones just to try out some new things. That's the event. I'm really excited about this. We get all these free rewards. We've got 20 days on this event. You can see there's room down here where they could roll out other events with this. I'm really happy about the summons. It lets all of us who want to spend money just go after that one hero. And the main thing is you feel good about spending your money because you can calculate the cost. You know you're at least gonna get that one legendary that you want for some reason and it just makes you feel so much better instead of spending a whole bunch for summons and just rolling the dice and just keep summoning and summoning and summoning and summoning and you never get that hero that you're missing or that you really want to get so for me this is awesome thanks so much for watching everyone please subscribe if you haven't i will see you all in a video soon